It's now time to complete Jasper Active Outlook, Lesson 1, Chapter 2, Customizing Mail. Click Learn and click Continue. You'll notice our AMC Sweeney uh, Outlook email box has opened. Number one, we're going to change the number of visible items. So we're going to click File, click Options, and then click Advanced. Click File, click Options, and click Advanced. In the Outlook Panes area, click Navigation. Here's Outlook Panes. I'm going to click Navigation. I'm going to change the maximum number of visible items to 5. And I'm going to click Compact Navigation to turn this off. And next I will click OK two times to exit the dialog boxes. Notice how the Peaks bar now has text instead of the icons. So it's kind of stretched out here along the bottom. Click the three dots in the Peaks bar. And there we have Navigation Options as well. Then we're going to click it and we're going to check compact navigation to turn the feature back on. And then we're going to click the reset button for Outlook to return to the four visible items. Click OK to exit this dialog box. Mark as answered and click Next. We're going to do some more things in the file menu. Please go to the file tab again. This time we're going to go to options and then click search. In the results area, click current mailbox. Here's the results area, and we're going to click current mailbox. This allows Outlook to search the current mailbox folders um, when we're looking for items. To have Outlook search all the mailbox, instead, click all mailboxes and click OK. Let's see, mark as answered and click next. All right, I left the Outlook Options box up good. And we're going to click General on the top left. If you accidentally clicked OK because I said it just a minute ago, go back to File, Options, and you can get this box back up. Click General at the left, and then click the arrow for Office Theme. So it's under Personalize Your Copy. Here's Office Theme. And please change the theme to white. Click OK. Notice how the top of your screen now has a white background instead of the original default color. To change that back we're going to go to File, Options, click General again and then change the office theme to colorful and click OK. And Now we have our color back. Mark as answered and click Next. We're going to return to File, Options, and this time we're going to click on Mail, the second item on the left, and please find the Stationery and Fonts options. In the New Mail Messages area, please click Font. We're going to change the default font here to Arial. So you please scroll through the fonts. Remember they're alphabetically listed. Find Arial for the font style and for the color. Please choose dark blue from the standard colors group. Dark blue. It should be called dark, dark blue. Click OK three times to exit this area. On the, at the main inbox screen, this is where we are. Click on the Home tab and find New Email. Click in the body of the email and type the word Hello. And you can see it's that dark blue Arial font. Let's go fix that. Let's go change it again. We're going to go to File, Options, Mail, Stationery and Fonts. And we're going to switch it to, uh, we're going to go into New Mail Messages. Click on Font again, and this time change it to Tahoma. I just typed T on my keyboard to take me straight to the T's. There's Tahoma. And the font color we're going to return to Automatic.
Click OK to exit all the dialog boxes. Mark as answered and click Show Results. Great. You have now completed Outlook Lesson 1, Chapter 2.